Assured Automation, we make automation easy. In this video, we will be converting a normally closed VA compact automated valve to normally open. Before disassembling the VA valve, please note that the VA is made of nickel plated brass material. During disassembly, the plating can create fine threads or metal fines. You must be very careful to clean off all this debris before reassembly to prevent damage to the soft seals. Additional lubrication may be added to the valve if necessary. The lubrication must be compatible with the various soft seals the VA can be supplied with. We use the following Kluber lubricants based on seal material. One side of the VA valve should be held securely in a vise. A box head wrench should be used to remove the end cap. It is important to use a box head wrench since the body is a brass material and can be deformed with large open end wrenches. Once the end cap is removed, the internal piston and spring can be removed. A light pulse of air may be required to push the piston out. Once the piston and spring are removed, you can modify the location of the spring to convert the valve position of the VA valve. In our situation, we're going to move the spring to the other side of the piston to make the unit valve open. Remove the piston and remove the spring. Once the particulate is completely removed, the VA valve can be assembled in the correct configuration. Insert the piston. Insert the spring, replace the end cap, and tighten the end cap. After assembly, make sure to pressure test the VA valve to ensure that there are no leaks. Also make sure to update the label to reflect the new failure position as normally open. Assured Automation, your source for manual and automated valves and flow meters.